Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well, and today's video is going to be pretty cool. I found some pretty interesting pieces to take a look at. Um, whilst I was out and about after work, I had to pop to my local town, that, uh, or a town that I've not been to for a while, should I say. So whilst I was there doing a few bits, I had to do that way, I came across a classic TV series, Batmobile, from Jada Toys which is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't really collect Jada toys like that. So I've got one or two pieces from them, but um, this particular piece I could not leave behind. So we're gonna take a look at it in a minute. And then I walked past a train model shop that obviously sold trains. And they had some fairly interesting uh, 143rd scales and other various bits in there and some large scale. But they also had some vintage majorette and matchbox, which I also picked up, which was a real surprise because when you look at the shop, it just looked like a normal model shop, if that makes sense. It didn't look like they sold any second-hand stuff. But anyway, I'm going on a bit. Let's get straight into it. We'll take a look at the Jada piece first, and then we'll take a look at the vintage matchbox. That was just there whilst I spoke. So there it is. Let's just put the camera down a bit more. So there it is. Very, very cool. I'm, I do like Batmobile stuff. I like the original Batmobiles, um, as in from the, t the first of the sort of TV series. Um, I'm not so clean on the other Batmobiles, if I'm truthfully honest, um, because obviously this was originally based on, a, I think it was a Lincoln Futura, something like that. So, but anyway, we're going to take a, a good look at that in a second. So, obviously, it comes with Batman. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Robin on the other side. I think that would be a good thing to have, but still. So, this is some of the stuff they do do. So, these were all there. So, you've got all the different. So you've got all the different Batmobile, or some of the different Batmobiles. Um, I can't see the tumbler. Or is that the tumbler up there? No, that's not it, is it? No. So they got some of them. <laughs> but obviously this is the one that I do like. And I have three or four of the um, Hot Wheels versions. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have the ID version, a couple of mainline versions. I've got that about four or five of these different ones but this is the first one I've got like this so let's find something to open it up with uh, two seconds I think I've got something here so let me just try and split this tape off because it's taped in the corners can I do it yes right, so that's that bit what well, should open now no more tape bear with me a second So, like I said, the reason I don't really collect, like I said, Jada toy stuff is not because there's nothing wrong with it. I have, like I said, I have got some other Jada toy stuff, but it's just because of scaling. I, I think I can't. You can't collect everything. That's what it basically boils down to. You can't collect everything. There's nothing really wrong with it. They do some good stuff. Um, why is this not coming out now? Oh, it's snagged on something. All right. It is coming out slowly. All right, let me just look at this off screen two seconds. And there it is. So that is all off the box. And yeah, it is, it's really, really quite nicely done. As you can see, you've got the um, parachutes there in black. You've got the uh, thruster or the jet engine part of it, which I'm just trying to look down, has actually got plastic lens covering over it you can see that which is unusual um, they're very very bendy they're made out of rubber that's the uh, I think they were what used to fire fireworks I think or rockets out of there I think but but um, no it's, it's nicely done so as you can see it's all there the interior is quite nice you've got the bat steering wheel looks pretty much right uh, that looks like an extinguisher, I believe. We've got that little, like, um, I think that was like a little bat, an like a bat antenna, like a radio thing that used to pick up signals. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's very nicely done. Very nicely done. Um, this wasn't expensive. I think I paid $8.99 for it, which is pretty good you see you've got the bats emblem there on the <coughs> on the wheels 
so it does roll nice it says it's in 130 second scale i think it's 130 seconds I'm just trying to look uh two but to be honest it's it's more like one in 43rd scale um i haven't got any one in 43rd scale cars here to offer up to it but i know this was quite a big ass car in the original like the original version of this the original lincoln this was based on um so it's not far off i think you'd get away with it in with your 143rd scale possibly but don't hold me to that but no it's it's a nice piece um i think it's a bit of a generic base to it though because as you can see these sometimes these used to have motors with them this doesn't have a motor pullback motor there you go 130 second scale 132 so yeah but like i said it's it's very nicely done so if you're a batmobile fan this is a must have so not too bad and then another bit that i thought was pretty cool was when i got the batman himself off the uh box it's die cast a really weighty piece of die cast so that is very cool and it is really quite weighty it must must weigh almost as much as a normal toy car I and mean, i'm just yeah i mean it really is that heavy it's 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 so that's that's a bonus i thought it was a, a rubberized man or a little plastic man but no it is a, a proper die cast figure and as you can see it's it's pretty well done but uh, anyway so that's the jada toys one in 30 second scale batmobile which i think is pretty cool so anyway so that was a good find this morning i like it when i come across stuff that you don't necessarily think you're gonna find like i said i wasn't die cast hunting and that's sometimes when you find the best stuff now let's get to the to the matchbox pieces that i found this morning and then we'll take a look at the major bits at the end so found this pretty cool little bedford truck um with obviously the little plastic cars on the back from the super fast series so 1970 copyright matchbox super fast and it is the car transporter i can't quite see yeah transporter and it's in fair condition it's this will this will clean up nice a bit of warm soapy water and then i'll dry it with the hair dryer to make sure the axles don't rust out but this is in fair condition i probably won't touch this once it's been cleaned up as it's and it's the blue glass variation a lot of these came with green glass and blue glass but uh it's pretty cool nonetheless <laughs> i have a green glass version of this but uh, anyway so like i said for 50p you can't go wrong and it still rolls nice and like i said with a bit of a bit of a clean maybe a little bit of chrome on the wheels again re-chrome the wheels and this will be acceptable for the collection so that is not too bad and then very happy to find one of these little um super fast mustangs so let's have a little look uh wildcat something but uh pretty cool and i thought i thought at, th at first somebody had a go at drilling this out but they haven't it's it's the rivet as when they've when they've tried firing the rivet down it's um they they've messed up so that's that's probably always been like that it's not i thought at first someone tried drilling it out but like i said it's a rivet misfire which they sometimes did do unless somebody has tried drilling it and done it but you can see there's no drill marks on the actual if you were drilling it wouldn't make that make it wouldn't make that mark there it would it would make literally make a, sw a swirl it wouldn't do that and leave the raised part so i'm confident that's that's a misfire when they've tried riveting it but uh so that's pretty cool so i may leave this piece as it is even though it's very tatty i may leave this piece as it is just for posterity you know but this is a light pink version i believe it was a light pink version the places where it's not faded it's light pink not my favorite color but still a cool piece and again 50p um and then i found this version so this is a slightly darker pink uh don't think there's any stickers left as you can see 
but this piece I'm actually thinking about giving this a strip down and a clean up and keeping the original wheels on it just give them a re-chrome because they're in pretty nice condition give us a repaint on the bottom and give us a nice um, I've got some nice metal flake like a graphite grey silver and metal flake colour at the minute so I might give us a coat of that complete straight restoration just a different colour I think yeah and maybe once I've uh, restored it yeah I think it'll just be a straight restoration I don't think I'm going to do a detailed any, any detail on this but uh, so that again 50p and like I said the other shop that I've showed in the previous video I think a while back um <clears throat> the other day should I say of when I went to the shop that's where I get some of my matchbox from for 50p and obviously sometimes a little bit more expensive but so like I said I've just come across this new shop that like I said it sells trains and large scale models and uh, out the back he had a few he didn't have many I pretty much bought what he had but he does from time to time get some old pieces in so it'll be a place to keep an eye on because especially at 50p I'd go anyway that's for, that's for certain um and this is one of the majorettes, little majorette beetle. Now this is quite interesting. I haven't really researched this. Uh, I'm a bit baffled by it. Again, I'm not sure someone's gone to try and work on this one either. I'm not quite sure. The rivet is very... But then again, like I said, I don't know what they would have used. I'm not quite sure, but it... it doesn't feel wobbly. But the interior is all warped. All the glass is warped. So I don't know what's happened and there's these weird little holes in this now whether something sat on this uh, I don't know so leave a comment because uh, I like I said I haven't researched this car yet to see what if there was anything sat on it like a roll cage or I'm not quite sure what something was on the outside of this or whether someone's made random holes I don't know but the glass is definitely warped as well because um, which is quite weird but this is one I'll be definitely restoring at some point. I will definitely do something with this. The wheels are nice. It's in pretty good nick. If the glass wasn't gone, then I would have left it. But the glass is a bit unusual. It's the best way to put it. So that again was another 150p. And then the last piece is this um, little van, pickup truck, tow truck. And again, this is again quite strange. You know, it's missing its hook, which is no problem because I can get replacements for that. Um, again, this is going to get restored. I, I expect I'll put this back as a red color at some point. But again, it's got no interior, which is unusual for Majorette as far as I'm aware of. I thought they, they did interiors. Um, and I thought at first this had been drilled out. But for the further investigation, there's no rivet riv 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 pillar at all there's nothing down there it's, it's fresh metal there's no it's painted so what i'm trying to say is i thought at first someone had drilled this out took it to pieces but it's not the case that's where it's riveted and that's where it clips in and it hasn't been moved so i thought it's just weird there's no interior and it's weird that it's just a random so whether they share this base on something else that is riveted at the front and they were just trying to cut costs or whether this is a a prototype i don't know but again any any information leave in the comments i will be researching this at some point when i get the chance but anyway please like share subscribe stay tuned for more vintage pieces unboxing videos restorations wheel swaps and the multitude of other stuff that i do uh, any information on these will be greatly appreciated as i'm not an expert on major rep, but i do enjoy them and with that I'll see you all very soon. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. By the way, stay tuned. As, uh, like I said, I may, if I get a break in the window, um, I might do something with this. So that'll be interesting. I don't know yet. And I've also got a pretty cool wheel swap pickup that truck that I'm doing at the minute. So that'll be interesting too. But anyway, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.